Hey guys, how is it going? It's Smithers Boss, and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you over 15 awesome garden decorations and build tips and tricks you can add to your Minecraft houses. Do enjoy these videos, make sure to hit that like button, and without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. Okay, so first off we have this absolutely awesome swimming pool design, and it's actually very very simple to make. It's actually a 12 by 7 block space dug into the ground with stone slabs above. There are some sea lanterns in here for extra lighting, we have white clay and blue clay. Uh, on the bottom and the sides and then we have a really nice diving board with uh, two blocks of wool and then three blocks of carpet coming off the end with string underneath to make it look like a diving board you can just climb on up here with the ladder and jump on it and it's, it's a really nice swimming pool design and it would be absolutely awesome for your minecraft houses Next, we have another cool little swimming pool design, but I guess it kind of uh, is also a hot tub as well. It's uh, it's just quartz slabs built up into a ready by one circle, and there's some snow caps on top to uh, give a little bit more depth, some buttons for details. There's some more stairs going up, and uh, of course, the water, which is really nice, and it's also uh, a lot different to the first design. That one was square. This one is a circle, and uh, all of these designs are super simple to build. And it would also look very, very cool in a modern house, which uh, a lot of you guys are into. So yeah, hopefully some of you guys build this and uh, add it to your Minecraft houses. Coming up on number three, we have a really nice hot tub design. I actually use this in my top five hot tub designs in Minecraft. If you'd like to go check that video out, link in the description. But uh, this is actually a three by three little block space. And uh, it's got oak wood all the way around. Spruce planks on the top. We have a little iron trap door in the center block with some banners on the front to represent some towels. And of course, our water in the middle. And it looks very, very nice in pretty much any house you put it in. Because it's an all round nice looking hot tub. Next up, we have a really nice garden table and chair set with some fences in the middle going up, a quartz slab on the top, and it's surrounded in banners to represent the little umbrella that you usually find on garden tables. Around the edges, we just have some spruce slabs with some oak trapdoors on the back to represent the little chairs. And uh, all together, it's a super, super nice design and would look absolutely amazing in any garden or home. Next up, we have another table and chair design. This one with a tree in the middle, um, and this looks absolutely amazing. So if we just grab ourselves uh, our materials here, and I'll show you how to build this tree. The table is pretty self-explanatory. It's just glowstone in a little three by three with a gap in the middle and then a glass box on top. And the chairs are quartz slabs with signs on the back. So our tree is one and two blocks of oak fence. We can then place one, two, three, four, and five oak leaves just like this. And then one block up, we can place two blocks of oak leaves going all the way around. And we have ourselves a really nice looking kind of circle like tree. Um, but I definitely think this design would look great in all of your houses also. Next up, we have a cozy campfire. So uh, this is just never rack with your flame on top with flint and steel iron bars surrounding it. Then we have these cool simple bench chair designs with some spruce wood stairs and some trapdoors surrounding it, which uh, is pretty, pretty simple. And then of course around the edges, we've just got some bushes and some trees and uh, some pods out on the ground for a little bit of extra effect. This would look great if you were building maybe a campsite or you just had a giant house and you happen to have a campfire area in your house, but this is definitely a design you guys would love. Next up, we have this absolutely amazing seating area with an overhang that looks very, very nice. This would look absolutely amazing if you had maybe a Spanish or an Italian villa. And uh, this chair design just uses the stone brick stairs going all the way around curved into an L shape with some stone slabs in front of it, making the seat a little bit wider, two blocks uh, out. We then have this little clay table, two by two with some plants on top. And then the whole thing is surrounded by oak fences going five blocks up with an overhang and then a random assortment of leaves placed, spruce and oak to uh, make this look very, very nice. And if you have shaders mod, the light can come through here and cast these little realistic shadows, which I think looks absolutely perfect. And this would look very, very good in any of your gardens. Next on our list is this absolutely awesome beach chair and umbrella design. We have our sun lounges, which are just some oak stairs placed down with three oak slabs on the end. And then our umbrella is three oak fence going up and string and carpet used to form the umbrella. And this actually looks like the England flag, which is pretty cool. So if you're from England, you could use that. And if you want to use a different design, feel free. We have a little upside down spruce there on the end, just to kind of make a little table extension. And we've got some sand to represent beach because this thing would, let's be honest, look best on the beach. Now we have this absolutely amazing little swing set design using fences, creating a little arch shape on the side. 
It then connects along the top, goes down by two, and then there is a stair of spruce wood there with trapdoors surrounding it, making the little sides of the swing. This would look great in any playground or in fact any garden that you build in Minecraft. Now onto one of my favorite designs I'm showing you guys today. It is this bouncy house or bouncy castle, or whatever you like to call it. Uh, it basically just uses the purple wall going in this little three block and then two block pattern. We have some red concrete on the bottom and some green concrete on the side going five blocks up. We then have in the center, you can actually bounce on this thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty amazing. So under this, we of course have our slime blocks and then we just have a striped pattern of yellow and red carpet and there's some fences on the end. And this thing looks absolutely amazing. So maybe if you're having a party in Minecraft, you want to place this down or you just want to have a bouncy castle in your garden because you can, this is the perfect design for you. Moving on, we have these awesome blue and yellow water slides using the blue clay and the yellow clay and with fences on the side built up with a ladder to get to the top we can go down and it makes this absolutely amazing water slide. This would also look great if you were building maybe a theme park or a water park in Minecraft. You guys can add these, you could do these in all sorts of colors. You could have red, green, purple, pink, black, even white, and they would definitely look just as good. Next up, we have another tree design. Now, this tree is a custom tree, so it would look great in pretty much any house, and it's just a little bit different to your average Minecraft tree. So it's two oak fences just like this with nine blocks of oak leaves on top, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then what we can do is place a row of one, two, three, and four blocks like this. And we can bring these up by three. Now either side of this, we're gonna place another three oak leaves. And then we can place two on the top. And there should be two of those left on the top. This creates a super simple awesome custom tree that would look great in a row at the side of your house or maybe in the back of a garden. And hopefully you guys decide to add these to your Minecraft house. Next, we have another awesome design using the fences and the leaves. It's pretty much just oak leaves and fences in a random pattern uh, in one block space. And this would make an absolutely awesome garden divider or a wall divider in any house or garden in Minecraft. And I just think it's a very, very awesome and unique design. Next, if you are looking for a place to cook your food or have your friends over, this barbecue is absolutely amazing. It is using the brick blocks in stairs, slabs, and normal block forms. Then we have our two furnaces with our trapdoors on top and our stone walls at the side. Super, super simple to build, but does look like a giant pizza oven or garden barbecue. We then have some stone bricks on the floor with some green wool just to make a cool little difference in the ground. We then have a four by two diorite table with these two flower pots on the top. And then we also have some spruce wood stairs curved in a little C shape, and they make these awesome looking dark arm chairs. Now you could place this furniture in any arrangement you'd like. That's the beauty of Minecraft. You can change things about and customize it to how you would like it in your Minecraft world. Next up, we have this amazing little picnic table and bench design with a little picnic uh, mat and the cakes to represent food when you're having a picnic. I mean, that is pretty much what you do when you have a picnic. We then have this awesome umbrella using the oak fences, the string, the brick slab, and then we have the blue carpet going all the way around. And uh, this place looks absolutely amazing. I think this would look good in any kind of forest situation or if you just want it in your garden or a park, I think that would look great too. Uh, the benches are using the spruce wood slabs and the signs on the back. And then there's just a two wide oak fence going along with some orange carpet on the top, making the little bench you can sit at it, talk to your friends, eat your food and everything is absolutely amazing. Last but not least, we have this awesome gigantic fountain design that would look amazing in the front of a house or even in the garden, but if imagine if you just pulled up to a house you saw this thing you would pretty much just want to live there this design pretty much just uses all the quartz blocks there's also some oak leaves going on in there and some diorite on the bottom so to build this thing we're going to grab our quartz pillars and let's place one two three four and five and six of those we're going to grab our slabs and place two coming out on the second block Now on each of the corner blocks, we're gonna place one slab going along like this, making this cool little pattern and we can place some oak leaves either side, just like this going up. Then above this, we're gonna place some quartz stairs upside down, one, two, three, and four. And on the top, we're gonna to grab our stone walls and place two of them just like this. Of course, you are then gonna place this stair and slab design going around, diorite blocks on the bottom, and then your water gets placed on this top block just like that. And the water should flow down either side and make this absolutely awesome fountain design. 
Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully, you've got some inspiration and you have some awesome ideas and designs to add to your Minecraft project. I'm going to kick it back in this hot tub now. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe with post notifications on for more videos every single week. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Stay positive, stay creative, and I'll see you in my next Minecraft video.